If you just got your hands on the all new LG C5, continue watching this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a handful of tips and tricks, including how to use this newly redesigned remote and what are the best settings you need to actually enable and change to disable like automatic ad pop-ups like this one is displaying. All that and more in this video. And yes, timestamps of everything will be in the video description down below. Let's first go over removing those annoying ads I was telling you about earlier. So on the top right here, you'll see it always constantly plays ad, but if you like to remove this, using your remote, just long hold on the gear icon, this one right here, and it'll bring up this menu. From here, you need to go into the general section and then just scroll down until you see system. In the system tab, click on it, go into additional settings, and then from here, just click on home settings. And then here's where you get disabled home promotions. As you see, it literally disabled them. And I also like to recommend removing content recommendations. This way, apps aren't really bombarding you on apps you really don't care about. And that's how you can eliminate these flashy, annoying ads right in the background, including the screen savers if you just leave your TV on idle. It's very annoying that these modern day TVs just like to advertise now. And then while we're here on the power on screen, by default, whenever you turn on your TV, it will take you to the home page, which you're seeing right here, the home hub. But if you like to leave it at a recent input, you can always select recent input. This way your Xbox, your DVR, or any other input you last left it on will be selected by default whenever you power it on, personal preference. But if we leave this and we go back to our home menu, we don't have any annoying ads anymore. And I think this is much cleaner. Then, I don't know about you, but every time you turn off your TV, you will see the LG logo. If you like, you could also remove this. In order to do this, you will need to triple tap the gear icon on your controller. One, two, three. It'll play this magical sound because this is technically a secret menu. But right here on the very bottom, you'll see show LG logo when turning it off. And now it will no longer show you the LG logo. Now we're not done with the home menu right here. Because I also like to show you how to customize these apps to your personal preference. Say for instance, you're someone who uses Disney Plus a lot. By selecting the Disney Plus app and then just long hold on the little center wheel right here for like three seconds or so, this menu will pop up. Here, whereas you can select the app and actually move it to the front, or if it's an app you don't like, you can also select hide or delete it entirely and you can re-download it later in the app store. On some of these first party apps, you can only hide it, unfortunately. But that is how you can actually customize your app layout and rearrange them to your personal preference. This way your most used apps are right here on front and everything else is either deleted or just gone to eliminate that clutter. But now let's say for example, one of these apps is acting funny. Let's say Netflix as an example, I haven't signed in yet. I literally just picked up this TV. But let's say an app is just not working. It's not responding. It's not loading properly. You would like to force close the app. Well, by selecting the one, two, three button right here on your controller, by selecting this, this will bring up this menu, which allows you to have additional actions. You can select quit app. You can force close the app that way. Now, whenever you reboot it and select the app again, it's gonna reboot from scratch and hopefully should resolve any issues. Another way to force close apps is by double tapping the back arrow. This little recent list will pop up, allowing you to force close the apps from here or manually close all or jump between a previously open app and then just hit close all if you'd like to. And then real quick before we go to the next one, if you could kindly take two seconds to hit that like button and like, really do appreciate those because those allow the video and the channel to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see integrated brands for like a sponsorship segment, taking like a minute or two off your time. So massive thank you to those that continue to support the channel by simply hitting like, really does mean a lot and allows the channel to be ad free from brands wanting to do like a minute or two sponsorship segment in the video. So, so thank you so much for doing that because we don't have to do that. Let's carry on. But now let's say you misplaced your remote and you like to know a different way to control your television. Well, if you have an iPhone or even an Apple Watch or an iPad, by bringing down Control Center, you can remotely control the television in the remote app using Apple HomeKit. If you don't have that set up, it's as easy as simply grabbing the physical controller because you will need to set this up first, tap the LG Home button, and it'll take you to this page. What you wanna do is go into the AirPlay section, select this, and go into AirPlay and HomeKit setting. And then 
You want to scroll down where it says home kit setup, select this, scan the QR code using an Apple product that's signed into your Apple ID. Simply scan it. This accessory screen will pop up, add accessory, add it to your current house. And in no time, it will automatically pair to your device. But now we're not done yet. After you do that, select done. Because now we like to rename this TV depending on the place you're leaving it. So in our case, we leave it in a bedroom, but if you're using this in a living room, master bedroom, kitchen, or if you like to be fancy in a bathroom, renaming the TV makes your life so much easier. To do this, simply just long hold on the gear icon in this menu, go down into support and go all the way down until you find the TV information setting. In here, select device name, rename this to whatever you like, this TV will be in the bedroom, so I'm just going to call it bedroom one. And now to simply launch the remote app. If you don't see it, just long hold in control center, add control, type in remote, and you'll see a little Apple remote icon right here. Add that. And now by selecting the remote, select your TV, look for the name you created, bedroom one. And now we have full remote control of the television from here. You can even turn off the TV, mute the TV, and adjust the audio as you're seeing me do right here by just simply moving and adjusting the audio rockers on the iPhone. That's how you can wirelessly control the TV without downloading the LG Remote app, which in my opinion is really confusing. This is easier. Now, since we're still in the TV information, since we're here, I also want to show you this. You could actually see the time, the total power on time this TV has. So this is brand new. So we have little over an hour a power on time. I like to go over this because in case you purchase a used box, an open box product, as an example of some retail stores, I like to double check here. So you know, if you're getting an open box return or if you're getting a display unit with several thousand hours. So this is a great way to check and see if you're good or if you need that extra warranty. Now let's say you're watching something on the TV. This could be a movie, a podcast, even listening to music, like on YouTube as an example, if you select a video, you can have the audio playing, but let's say you don't want the screen to be on, but you still want it to play just the audio. There's a special setting you can have access to that allow you to do this. Start by simply holding down the setting icon on your remote, and then this menu will pop up. You want to go into general, and then scroll all the way down until you find energy saving. In the energy saving tab, this is where you can change the energy savings settings to your own personal preference. I like to keep in mind on auto. But down here is where you can actually temporarily turn off the TV while keeping the TV on. Now, embarrassingly enough, it doesn't work on YouTube, but if we switch to a different app as an example, I could have sworn it used to work on YouTube. Let's hop into Netflix and do the same thing again. There we go. Now we have the screen off setting no longer grayed out. Now the TV is screen only is turned off, but you can still hear the audio. So yes, this will still work if you have it hooked up to like an audio surround sound system. And to reactivate it, just press any button on the controller and the screen will wake back up. Now, possibly the most confusing thing about this remote is the limited buttons that it has. And because all these buttons up here have featured different shortcuts. As an example would be like, let's say for example, you're trying to mute your TV as quickly as possible. Well, there's no physical mute button, but there's a shortcut. Simply just hold down on the volume down and you'll see the TV just goes into instant mute. That's like instantly going to mute. Another important one to re uh, remember is your inputs. As there's no physical input button, the way the inputs work is you have to long hold on the LG Home button. So by long holding this button, you'll have your different inputs right here on the bottom. So if you have like an Xbox or an Apple TV plugged in, this is where you go in and actually select it. And then if we long hold the Home button right here on the controller, this will give you quick access to like a zoom in functionality. Not sure exactly how this is beneficial, but you could basically zoom in uh, 150 times and navigate to your TV in case you're having a hard time seeing. You could even change the zoom level as well. And to get out, just tap the back button once. And then if you're trying to change between different channels, if you're using your DVR or you're hooked up to cable, long hold the guide button. This will bring up your guide menu. And then on the top over here, you have the ability to actually enter like number inputs. If you like to direct to an actual channel. Weird, unnecessary, but that's how these new ones are now. 
And then for everything else, you do have AI voice control right here, a long hold and just speak to the microphone. We'll activate LG AI virtual voice system to do anything you like it to change on your television. Now, since we're familiar with the HDMI inputs by simply long holding this button it once more, it'll give you access to your inputs. If you like to rename these, you totally can. To rename them, you need to activate the LG Home by hitting this button again. And on top right, you'll see these three dots. Select this and you'll see the first section right here, you'll see edit inputs. From here, you'll have the ability to rename the inputs to anything you like, including change the icon to correlate it as well. And that is how you could rename your inputs. Now this little mouse cursor is also customizable. And if you like to wake it up in case it's not waking up for you, you can either shake the remote or just adjust the scroll wheel by moving it up and down and it'll actually activate it this way as well. But if you feel like this cursor is too fast for you, just go into your TV settings, just long hold, just long hold the gear icon real quick to take you to your default TV settings and go into general and then scroll down until you find system, click on system and then go into additional settings. And from here you'll see pointer options, select pointer options. And this is where you can go in and select if you like to slow it down or if you feel like it's too fast, you can also change the speed. If you go back, you may also change the cursor size too if you want it to be larger or smaller. And then yes, you could preview it right here in real time as you're adjusting these things. So you can find the best one that best suits your needs. Now I talked about all the internal settings, the main settings inside your TV, but if you tap on the gear icon just once instead of double tapping or long holding, just tap once and this new menu will pop up which basically is your control center. Here you have the ability to quickly change between the many different picture modes that it has available, including like gaming and stuff. You can also go into advanced settings to fine tweak it as well. But you can also change the sound mode, your output settings, eye care. You can also enable a sleeper, turn off the screen from here as well, your privacy. But my favorite one is probably this multi-view. By enabling multi-view, you could have two apps or inputs running next to each other, side to side, giving you like a split view of your favorite apps you're using. And you can select between the different views if you want a small picture in picture view like it is on a smartphone or side by side. So let's say I want YouTube to be on one and I want Live TV to be on the other side. And then just select. And now we have two videos running side by side and you can select between which window you want to play audio as well. If you want this side to have the audio or decide to have the audio, it'll just play one audio source at, at once. But this is pretty cool, especially if you have a game going on in the background while the kids like to watch a movie. Now underneath these new modern day LG TVs, there actually is a single button right here, which is a multi button, a single, a long hold press will turn on and off the TV. And then a single press will give you access to your inputs, power off, volume down, up arrow and down arrow. So that single button can do a lot of things with a single press. And then lastly, if you ever see this like outlet power plug logo, that's just your TV telling you do not unplug the TV as that could actually cause harm to the OLED panel. So that's what that little logo means. I see a lot of people ask that a lot, but other than that, there you guys have it. Now you are a pro when it comes to using your LG C5 to its full potential, eliminating those annoying ads and giving you some customization abilities. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful. If you did, kindly appreciate it if you could actually take two seconds to hit that like button and like, as that not only strongly supports the channel, but will help this video to reach other LG users so they could actually see this video and actually learn some cool tips and tricks for their device as well. So thank you so much for those that took the time on doing so. If you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see some cool tips and tricks and hidden features, but for your Apple CarPlay vehicle head unit, I cover all that in greater detail in this video over there where I show you some creative tools and creative ways such as the ability to disable the auto play music ability whenever you start your car. I go through all that and more on how to disable that in that video over there. Thank you so much for watching.